I recently got a question from one of my retirees that said, should I be owning Bitcoin in my retirement accounts? And and the question really takes on a meaning of, uh, of actually two things. If you have extra funds and you're looking for speculative investments, you know, I'm sure you can make a case for that. But the second um, fork in the road is really around the devaluing of the U.S. dollar and, and currency overall. As all these central banks print money, they're devaluing their currency. And that's got a lot of people in retirement scared. And one of the things that we do to own a store of value is, is buy things that are in limited supply, i.e., in the past you know, 30, 50 years, whatever, gold has been the, the standard for, for limited supply and of currency. And gold has been around for you know, thousands of years, but I'm just saying from a, uh, from a store of value recently has been the gold standard. Bitcoin is trying to be the digital version of gold in the sense that it's a limited supply and it's a store of value and you can track every person that's owned that specific coin. Now, the question that I pose to most of my clients is that if we're afraid of devaluing of the U.S. dollar and we want to own something that's a, a store of value, um, we want to make sure that it's still a store of value during your lifetime. So if you're in your 60s, consider the next 30 to 40 years, what will be the, st the gold standard for store of value? And I think for most people, they'll have to make a decision between gold is what I know and this is what I'm going to use uh, as that store of value or uh, future generations only know digital currency and, and, and that's what's going to be more valuable in, in, during my lifetime in a time of crisis. If you have questions or concerns or, or have any ideas for videos, please put it in the comments below. Thank you.